Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a plugin which will help you create a pop-up in a WordPress website. And in the pop-up, you can also add a contact form. So it will be like a contact form pop-up. This plugin is compatible with Elementor as well as Gutenberg. The name of the plugin is Jet Pop-up, WordPress pop-up builder for Elementor and Gutenberg. The pricing of the plugin is $22 per year and it is compatible with Elementor as well as Gutenberg. In previous videos, I have shown you how to install the Jet Engine plugin and the Jet Smart Filter plugin. And using that plugin, we created the listing of custom post type for cars. And we have also added the filters for these custom post types. So the Jet Pop-Up plugin is also a part of Proco Block. Let me show you the features of this plugin. Everything is drag and drop. You can play with pop-up triggers. Any pop-up can be animated. No need to build everything from scratch. You will also get access to hundreds of presets. You will see some presets here. So you can use these presets. If you want, you can also create the pop-up from the scratch. So I'll show you how you can create the pop-up from the scratch. So I'll show you how does it work in the Elementor as well as I'll show you how does it work with the Gutenberg. These are the conditions when you want to show the pop-up on opening, user try to exit, page progress scrolling, attached to widget. So you can attach it to any widget, user inactive time, onset date. So you can also set the date to show the pop-up. These are the animation fade, zoom in, zoom out. All these animations are available. There are some presets. Decide how your pop-up will appear on the page. Classic, slide in, bar. So these are the presets. And this is the pricing, $22 per year. You will get two widgets, Jet Pop-Up plugin, one year product update. And if you go for the bundle, the bundle will cost you $199 in which you will get 20 Jet plugins. I have already covered videos on how to use Jet Woo Builder, Jet Smart Filter, Jet Engine plugin, as well as Jet Elements plugin. So if you go for a bundle, you will get all these plugins. So let's go to the website and let's see how does this work. I have already installed this plugin. And when you install the plugin, you will see the Jet pop-up in the left-hand column. Under Jet pop-up, you will see all pop-ups, create new pop-up, preset library and settings. So currently we are on the preset library and we have selected contact forms. So these are the contact forms, the preset contact forms. If you go to content locker, you will see some content lockers like this. If you want to see how does this look, you can simply click on this preview button and this is how to look. Cookie privacy. So these are the presets. Countdown. You can also create a countdown. Let's try this one. So this is how it will look. So if you want to use these presets, you can activate the license and these presets will be available. All right, let's go to create new pop-up and we will create a pop-up from the scratch. All right, so this is, we are on the create new pop-up and it will ask you which content type you, if you have block editor, you can select block editor. I'm going to select Elementor. We will also see how to create a pop-up using block editor. As of now, I'm going to create using Elementor. Let's name it as demo one. And this is the preset classic slide in bar bordering full view or full width. I'm going to select this one. Click create. All right. And this is how it will look. Now you can see that this is the content. I'm going to delete everything from here. All right. So this is a blank pop up. Let's go to the settings here. So these are the basic settings of this particular pop up. The name of the pop up below that we have settings. And here at the top, we have style. Go to pop up container and let's change the width. I'm going to make it 50%. So you can change the width of this pop up. So it will cover 50% of the screen. Then you can also change the position, vertical position or horizontal position. So I'm going to make it center center and contain position will be center again. Background type, let's change the background color. I'm going to use this one. So you can change the background color of the entire pop-up from here. Background type, then we have padding. Let's add some padding here. 25 pixel will be the padding. Margin, border radius. You can also add border radius. So I'm going to add border radius. Border type, if you want to add a border like this, you can change the border type. Close button. This is the close button. If you do not want to show, you can simply remove it. But I would prefer to use the close button. 
pop-up overlay you can also add the overlay and for the overlay we are going to change the color let's use this one and let's change the opacity so that the content in the background will also be visible all right so this will be the overlay close on click if someone clicks on the overlay it, it will close the pop-up all right so these are the basic style settings let's go to the settings here under settings go to settings again and these are the animation settings right now it is set to fade you can select zoom in zoom out move up rotate this vertical flip sliding up so i'm going to use this one open event on page load so these are the events when you want to open this pop-up on page loads in activity time page scroll when someone try to exit on date and on time so you can set the date as well as time to open this pop-up custom selector click let's select page scrolled and let's make it 15 percent so once someone scroll the page up to 15 percent it will open the pop-up disable page scrolling so it is going to disable the page scrolling show once if you want to show this pop-up only once you can enable this option loading content with ajax yes force display conditions we will add the conditions later so these are the basic settings of this pop-up let's update it now we are going to add some elements in the pop-up click on the plus sign let's select the single column here or the single column section click on the plus sign let's add heading and let's say 20 percent discount so we are creating this pop-up manually below that let's add something uh, let's add button And let's say I want to link this page, the cars page. So I'm going to copy the link and use that link for this button. Let's center align it. Now, if you want to create a form, you can also create a form using Elementor Pro form. So if you already have Elementor Pro, you can use the Elementor Pro. If you have contact form seven, you can add the short code of the contact form seven here on this pop-up. So you can search for the short code drag it and drop it here and add the short code of the contact form it can be contact form 7 or it can be elementor pro form mid form or any other form if you have a short code you can add the short code here even if you have html code of the form you can add the code here so it will show the form on the pop-up so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the elementor form so i'm going to search for form and drag it and drop it here so this is the form let's disable the label all right so let's change the color i have already published a video on how to use the elementor contact form you can watch that video let's go to the fields and i'm going to change the placeholder color all right so it shows the name email and message so it can be any kind of pop-up it's not just the contact form pop-up you can create any kind of pop-up you can use the presets also let's update it and let's exit all right let's go back all right so we are on the jet pop-up and here you will see the first pop-up that we have created this is the option to set the conditions right now it shows conditions are not selected so click on edit and click on add condition now where do you want to show this pop-up it says include or exclude if you want to exclude any page you can select the exclude option right now we are going to set up include and the options are entire website singular if you want to show it only on a single page you can click on singular then select the page and let's say i have home page so it will show on the home page only if you want to show the pop-up on entire website you can select entire and website so it will be shown on the entire website so let's click on save conditions there are different conditions you can select the conditions according to your requirements all right so we have set the conditions now let's go to the website and let me refresh the website all right so the website is refreshed i'm going to scroll down 
and as soon as I try to scroll down, you will see that the pop-up has come up. This is the button. If I click on it, it will go to the cars page and this is the contact form. I can fill up the form, click on send and the message will be sent. This is a dummy website. That's why it's not sending the message, but it will work on the actual website. Now, if I click on the overlay, it will close the pop-up. Let's go to home, refresh it, scroll it and you will see a pop-up again. Here you have the close button. I can close it from here also. You can also control the conditions. All the settings will be shown here. So you can create multiple pop-ups. Now let's go to the other website. And on this website, I'm using the Gutenberg. And let's see how we can create a pop-up on a WordPress website with the Gutenberg. I have already installed the plugin. So I'm going to click on preset library. Now the preset library for the Gutenberg is slightly different than the Elementor. Elementor has more features as compared to the Gutenberg. So here you will see content locker, cookie policy, discount, holiday, info card, joiners. Let's go to create a new pop-up. Again, we have block editor here. Right now on this website, I'm not using Elementor. So it is showing only one option and I'm going to name it as demo2. These are the presets. If you do not want any preset, you can create it from the scratch. So I'm going to use this one, click create. So this is how it will look. This is the title, then we have some content and then we have button. All right, now I'm going to change the title. This is the button. Let's delete this content from here. And button, okay, you can simply link this button with any page, All right? So you can change the button settings. You can change the color settings. Below that, I'm going to add the contact form. So if you're using Gutenberg, you can use the contact form seven to show in the pop-up. So I'm going to click on plus icon here and we have contact form seven and we have one demo form there. So I'm going to select contact form one. So this contact form will be shown. Now at the top, you will see the option here, jet pop-up, click on it. And these are the settings for the pop-up. The animation will be fade from the drop down. You can select different animations. Let's select this one on page load. Where, when do you want to show? You can also set inactivity time after let's say 20 seconds. So if the user is inactive for 20 seconds, it will show the pop-up. Try exit. When someone tried to exit from the website, it will show the pop-up. So I'm going to select on page load and I'm going to add some delay here. Let's say five seconds prevent page scrolling so they will not be able to scroll show once only loading content with ajax use close button the close button will be shown close on overlay now these are the settings the horizontal position this is the background color i'm going to change the background color let's change to this color horizontal padding vertical padding so all these style settings are available here Let's add a border here, border of this color, two pixel. All right, let's update it and let's see how does this look. Let's go back and let's set the condition also. Click on edit condition. I want to show it on the entire website. So that is already selected. Click save conditions. All right, now this is a demo website. Now I'm going to refresh the home page. And I'm going to wait for five seconds and let's see if the pop-up comes up. And here you will see the pop-up. So we have the title, then we have a button, then the contact form. So this form does not look good. If you have any other contact form, you can use that form also. You just need to add the short code while creating the pop-up. So this is how you can use the Jet pop-up plugin in a WordPress website to create the contact form pop-up. And this plugin works with Elementor as well as Gutenberg. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.